Hi, welcome to the video run Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. I am Nam Haming from CodeJava.net. In this video, I would like to share with you how to open, configure, build and run the Spring Boot application in IntelliJ IDEA for absolute beginners. I suppose that you have an existing Spring Boot project and you have IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition and MySQL database server installed on your computer. You know, basically, here are the steps uh, for running a Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Firstly, you need to open or import an existing project and then check the Spring Boot uh, configuration file. It is usually the application properties file for database correction properties and server config such as context path and port number. And if the project requires a database, you need to connect to MySQL database server and create a new database and build the project and file main class that is annotated with the uh, Spring Boot application annotation and run as a uh, Java application. And this is IntelliJ IDEA on my computer. You see I'm using uh, IntelliJ IDEA version 2021.2 Ultimate Edition here. And let me open an existing uh, Spring Boot project on my computer here. Okay, this is a uh, uh, Spring Boot project uh, based on uh, Maven build. You can see the pom.xml file here. And you see uh, it is a Spring Boot project. So you see the parent is a Spring Boot starter parent here. And you can see in this project, uh, it is using Spring Boot starter data API uh, for database and Hibernate. Uh, Spring Boot starter time lift for template engine. Uh, Spring Boot starter web. So this is a, a Java web application based on uh, Spring Boot. And uh, MySQL connector Java. This is a JDBC driver for MySQL database. That means uh, this application will connect to MySQL database. Okay. And uh, you can see uh, the source code, the Java class C and the src uh, folder here main java and java package com not my company and the java classes here and under resources folder here you can see the application dot properties file this is a, a spring boot uh, configuration file you can see here it defines the data source url username and password so you have to update the url username and password according to the MySQL credentials. You see the uh, database hostname is localhost and the database schema is user DB, username, root and password, password. Okay, so in IntelliJ IDEA, you can connect to MySQL server directory. So open the database view here. If you don't see database view here, you can uh, click menu view to Windows and database here. Okay, and click the plus button here to add a new data source. Choose MySQL. Okay, and I want to connect to localhost and uh, specify username and password. And for now, uh, just leave the field database empty. Just connect to the server. Okay, you can click test connection. Okay, succeeded and click OK. OK, and in the database view, you can see it connected to a local instance of MySQL database server. And uh, right click new schema to create a new database schema. And uh, you must enter the name uh, that matches to the uh, name in the data source URL user DB and collision type is UTF 8 underscore 0 underscore CI. Okay, click OK to uh, create the schema and you can see a new database schema user DB uh, created here. The name must uh, match uh, the name in the application properties file here user DB. Make sense? And you can see in the application properties file, it uh, defines a property uh, spring.jpa.hibnet.ddl-auto-equal-update. That means uh, when this application is running, 
the Hibernate framework will uh, generate the tables automatically based on the entity classes here you can see in this project uh, we have only one entity class class user this is a controller spring mvc controller class and you can see this is the main class uh, uh, that uh, will launch we run the spring boot application and you can see this uh, class has the main method and it is annotated uh, with the uh, Spring Boot application annotation here. That means uh, to run this uh, Spring Boot project, you need to run this uh, main class. And you can see in the main method, it has the statement Spring application dot run here. And to run this uh, project, you can click the play button next to the uh, class uh, declaration here, or next to the main method here. You can build the project by go to the menu build click build project okay done you see here and now uh, click this uh, play button to uh, run the uh, project as a java application run my web application here and you see in the console view here it uh, displays a logging information of the application it is a, a Spring Boot application, so you can see the Spring logo here. And look at the last lines in the console. You can see it says that uh, Tomcat started on port number 8080 HTTP with context path empty. That means uh, this uh, is a web application, and we can access uh, via web browser uh, with this uh, port number. And you see the last line. Uh, saying started uh, my web app application okay that means uh, the application is up and running and ready to uh, receive requests uh, from the customer okay now open a web browser i open chrome and type http uh, localhost uh, port number 8080 into the arrest here yeah. and you see the home page of the application appears here yeah. uh, manage users click this link and I can add a new user uh, for example uh, Ravi Kumar check enabled option here save and you see it is working properly a new user has been created successfully here and it is displayed here you see and let me add another user Johnny at gmail.com Johnny Task. and click save and this is the second user created successfully here and in the console view here you will see it uh, brings uh, SQL insert statements uh, into the user's table here you see and in IntelliJ IDEA you can also uh, view the data in the table here the user's DB schema here double click to open click uh, refresh button here okay and you see we got the new table users here and you can right click and edit data and you can see it shows the rows in the users table right inside the ide right inside inside the idea here you see and very convenient right you see the two users are ravi kuma and zoni dust here and to stop this uh, Spring Boot application, you can click the stop button, uh, the red icon here. And you see, shut down here, shut down completed. And to run the uh, application again, you can go to the menu run and run my web app application here. Okay, you see, uh, the application started successfully. And if you want to edit the run configuration for this project, you can click menu run and edit configurations here. And you can see this is uh, settings uh, for the uh, run application. Here you see environment, uh, Spring Boot here you see. So you can play around with the options in this uh, uh, run configuration for uh, Spring Boot application. 
So that you have learned how to open, uh, configure, build and run the Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. I hope you have found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.